YouTube, there is no firearms in this video. Welcome back to the Loki Ergonor YouTube channel. In today's episode, we will talk about the Crossman 2240 stock velocity. I know that it doesn't look very stock, but it is. None of those accessories will add any power to this pistol. So yeah, I do not have some lead free 0.22 caliber pellets, but I will try some hollow point 14.3 grain to start with. Then I will try the jumbo RS 13.43 grain to see if they can go a little bit faster and more consistent, who knows. After this, I will try lower quality 15.9 grain snow peak round pellets just to see if that changes anything and to finish with I will test some 18.1 grain JDS dead center pellets because it liked those a lot and I want to see the speed I will then most likely finish the whole shot string with crossman all point 14.3 grain just to know really how many shots I get out of one crossman cartridge lubed with pelgon oil the oil doesn't do anything but I wanted to crony it last time before doing work to it I will install a steel bridge and a 14.5 inch barrel from Crossman that Buckrail gladly sent me this should give a bit of velocity and the steel bridge will give me the ability to use different optics and stuff like that thanks to Buckrail for supporting this whole build and let's crony that thing I will take only one dry fire to make sure to count all of the shots but the piercing one and see if it if this unit is more consistent than the first one that I got and return to warranty let's see it is now ready to go we got a fresh shield too only one dry fire I will start by five of those then move to five of those you know five each until I land back on those and Hopefully we can count all the shots and my crony will act normal even though it is a rainy day and the lighting is shit. Oops. All right, so all the point 14.3 grain. Hopefully the chronograph will work for every shot. This pistol is a bit shorter, so aligning the barrel with the chronograph will be a bit harder. Hopefully we don't get any error, but that's a call well, okay? I need to patch up my pellet box. The CO2 tube is getting fairly cold. I did shoot fairly fast and you might be able to tell that in the chronograph data thingy because it says I shot 0 0.1 shot per second, something like that. I don't know. Good. I will now move to Jumbo RS 13.43 grains. I will try to wait a little bit more in between shots, but I don't have all afternoon for that, okay? I think I'm not good to make this song. For 50? Now I will use some Snow Peak round nose pellets, 15.9 grains. Those are a little bit heavier, but also less consistent. So I expect maybe a bit of variation. This one was straight from the tin. So yeah, it is fairly soft lay. CO2 tube might be slightly colder than the last few groups. Hope the lighting did not change and that this test will continue to work. Mm. 
<sighs> I guess I can also look through the optic and see better. This is two pellets that I did not shoot because they are very consistent looking, but the three shots that we did get a number four are not that bad. Honestly, I expected worse. I will let it warm up a little bit more and then we will move to the 18.1 grain JDS dead center round nose pellets. The 20 to 40 really seem to like those 18.1 grains in the last pellet test out there. You know, watch that. It is definitively colder than at the start, but I don't have time to wait for that. I waited a bit more for this one. Yeah, around 400 FPS for this one. And I need to patch up my pellet trap, I guess. Now I will be switching back to Crossman Holopoint 14.3 grains and finish this CO2 cartridge and figure out how many shots you get with a consistent velocity. We are currently at 20 shots plus one dry fire to pierce the cartridge. Let's see how many consistent shots we can get after that. I did not wait for too long, but the CO2 tube is not that cold. Let's see. I ate that. For real. Hopefully it works now because I'm tired of it. It should start to fall on its face soon. Tube is fairly cold. I don't really care. I'm out for real. It is getting late and the sun is moving. So yeah, my nice shot count is now messed up. Thank you. I won't even try anymore. I just want one more reading. Can you even degas it at this point? You can. So I will. So this is about the velocity that you should get out of a 20 to 40 with no power mods. Quick recap, we got an average of 440 FPS with 14.3 grain Crossman pellets. We got a spread of 16, but we got a low of 428 FPS in there, which might have changed things a little bit. That might be a bad pellet, who knows. Then I moved to the slightly lighter JSB RS 13.43 grain. We got an average of 448 FPS. The spread of only six FPS for those, which is pretty good. After this, I shot some SMK 15.9 grain round nose pellets. I got an average of 415 FPS for with a spread of only five, but that's only on three shots because we got two errors. After that, we got the JTS 18.1 grain. I shot five, but only four recorded. We got an average of 397 FPS. It might have been slightly going down at this point. I don't really know. We got a spread of 12. I don't really know why because those shot very good. That might be the CO2's fault a little bit. I will let you judge on that. Then I shot a few more and got 
quite a bit of error because the sun is going down and it changed my lighting for the Caldwell chronograph which is kind of picky for that just, just so you know. We got an average of 416 with a spread of 60. I took 15 shots so I believe that will be shot number 35 and 35 is pretty much where you don't have any more gas left to make some precise shots because it's getting very weak. It did seem to be slightly weaker after only 20 shots at 25 degrees Celsius in the basement. So I will say that only the first 20 shots are really for accuracy tests and stuff. If you, you're looking for the best results, you can easily shoot 30 if you are doing some less serious blinking or whatever but you don't get much more than this it really starts to fall down after this and you can degas it after 35 shots so that means that the pressure is pretty low like i said i will be installing a 14.5 inch and a steel bridge that i got from buck rail hopefully it stays pretty canadian but this is kind of why i tested some heavier pellets because if i can have a 50 cal if it is under 500 with slightly heavier pellets. I will call it good enough, please. I don't know, but according to Johnny BB Gunner, I should be fine. So I will trust him. By the way, thank you to my other members for joining my channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching to everybody, even if you're not joining my channel. And uh, that will be it for today. See ya.